Hello, everybody. Everybody being fractal. Hey. Uh, how do I do the things I do? Magnificently. Thank you for asking. How are you today? Boy, did I have a day at work. It was busy. Oh. That's about it. <gasps> oh. oh, damn it. I for so I, I went to remove soda cans and I never came back with a fresh one. Sorry about that. All right. So, where we last left off. Because... Pelagina... wanted to uh, introduce us to the ambassador. So why don't we oblige? Mary J. Blige. All right. Very fancy. Not stealing. Well, you lost all rights to sure. everything. Wow. Soldiers, some diplomats. It's loud. Hey. Slightly for me, all right. Hey. Where there's a pick, there's a way. Lay in low. Oh, yeah. Taking what we can get. Looks like this is the, gonna be the place. Where there's a pick, there's a way. Three picks? Sure. It's finished. Obsidian lamp figurine. Summon three shades? What? What is this? Oh, okay then. Is it like a quick slot? It is. Wow. Okay. That seems like a powerful artifact. Save spamming again. Save scum. Where is our oh Ambassador Augusti? I would speak with you on a matter of some urgency and great importance. <sighs> Voice acting. Let's see if we can keep it up. Damn it. Then Vicent Agosti, sighing as though remembering some heavy burden, Vicent crosses his arms before replying, Palagina, if this is the same matter we previously discussed, I doubt I will, I will be convinced any more easily. Ambassador, please, hear her out. The ambassador appears mildly annoyed by you, by your interjection, and turns his attention back to Palagina. Ambassador, I implore you to take a step back and look at this again. Ambassador Agosti holds up his hand and cuts Palagina off in a strident tone. Enough. We're we're not going over to find space animancers again. The Duke's bells 
The Duke's Bell's desires have not changed since the last time we spoke. If you haven't heard, word of your insubordination has already found the ears of the Duquesa of B Bagpipe and the Duke of Salona. There are murmurs that you cannot be trusted to fulfill your duties. Must this talk reach the shores of Sparento? Palagina's aggressive demeanor drains to a state of shock and worry, but she remains silent. Hmm. I have to sneeze and it's not coming. No, asparagus. If it makes any difference, Ambassador, I'm already looking into the matters Palagina has spoken of. It doesn't, but it would be fortuitous if your investigation took you to Twin Elms, because that's where Palagina needs to go. What is it the Dukes need of me, Ambassador? The Deerwood's instability has created an opportunity for us to take over their trade in Air Glanfath. We will need to meet with the Glanfans soon to secure upcoming trade agreements. The roads to Twin Elms can be dangerous, of course, but that's why you'll be our representative there. It shall see, Ambassador, but won't this provoke the Deerwoodians? Their country is falling apart, and we are already dividing up their trade alliances. Provoke them into what? Going to war? Through no fault of the Republics, the Deerwood armies have been deprived of an entire generation of soldiers. It would be foolish not to take advantage of the situation. If we don't, the Red Sarens will. Love being benevolent. Ambassador, that's some cold compassion considering what these people have been through. More than that, Ambassador, there is a practical element to consider. We may profit in the short term from this arrangement, but what of the future? The Deerwood won't forget, and the Republics may pay the price for it. The Ambassador sighs. We're not the Duke's, Pelagina. It's their decision and our job to carry out the orders. It's not like they're asking you to assassinate someone. Palagina raises an eyebrow and clenches her jaw, but remains silent. Palagina, Palagina. He shakes his head. Go to Twin Elms, speak to the Anamanfath, impress upon her the instability of the Deerwood, and reassure her of the Valian Republic's desire to open safe trade. Of course, Ambassador. A little French there. A little bit of French. The ambassador nods and smiles paternally, then looks to you. I know you planned on investigating this crisis together, but I hope you understand Palagina's responsibilities. <laughs> uh, of course, ambassador, we have all our duties to attend to, or hmm, what about honest? I understand, but we're still going to investigate it. Responsibilities or not. Yeah. Bachin bristles and turns to Palagina. Will the Dukes need to hear more about Palagina Ray's wild adventures? Of course not, Ambassador. I will attend to the Anamainfath as soon as I am able to travel to Twin Elms. Good. Now, if you will excuse me. Could have gone better. Could have gone worse. I appreciate that you stood up for me. But it's hard to persuade the ambassador to go against the Duke's orders. <laughs> I know you're right, Palagina. We may find a way for you to fulfill your obligations while looking into what's really going on around here. Don't worry. Um... Enough wisdom for both of us. Now, I just need to find out how to get to Twin Elms before the Ambassador loses his patience. Walking helps. <laughs> she pauses in thought.